think Article 12 is a very important privilege that we have. The, the possibility of actually like being able to voice our views and then being taken seriously. And I felt that in a role like this for us to get it, I would have the opportunity to actually go out there and tell adults what's important and what issues are affecting us and how they should be dealt with. Looking a bit more practically, issues such as transport uh, is a big thing amongst all young people. Um, you know, when you're looking at tuition fees, quite controversial subject. Folks of 16, something I don't personally agree with. But, um, but yeah, that's nice. I think generally in the UK it's a lot about children's views often get heard and get their forms spoken, but actually doing something on what children, young people think and actually getting those views and represented in a practical manner is sort of. UK is one of the issues in terms of that, yeah. globally with education and stuff like that. So. I'd say that one of the key issues is accessibility and when young people's views are taken into account it's more of a kind of tick box and they're not listened to as they would to an adult. Education is a main focus for young people. Yeah. Uh, poverty is a very big issue, especially child poverty. I suppose, yeah, child poverty is a big one and also <coughs> public transport. Is, is as well because a lot of people use public transport and uh, it, it, it's, it's very expensive for young people and a lot of people can't always afford it. They have, a, a, they have human rights, they have more than human rights, they have children rights specifically made for them. I'd use my role to publicise the work that UNICEF does and how human rights affect young people and that they should play a more active part <coughs> because if no one knows what you want to say then nothing will ever get done about it. I think cool. it's definitely about really looking at it at a local level because that, that's where change is going to happen. So, so yeah, I think that should, that should be done really at that stage. Also sort of taking advantage of schools and saying, so making sure that this sort of thing gets pumped on schools so young people know what rights they have and what opportunities they have to express their views on those rights. And again, making sure young people across the country, not just people like that, like us who are involved anyway, get really involved. I think the media has a major role in advertising it because most people do read the newspapers and if you do see it all the time, you do know your right rather than what politicians tell you.